The following vlog contains videos and photos taken for the ghost tour at Jayward Asylum in Ararat, Victoria. Viewer discretion is advised. We're joining the team from Lantern Ghost Tours here in Ararat in Victoria at J Ward Lunatic Asylum, which used to be the home of the criminally insane. Now, Doug, talk to us a bit about the history of this place. Well, it wasn't always a home for the criminally insane. Let me put it that way. It was the Ararat County Jail initially, and then the Lunacy Department in Victoria took it over uh, as a home for the criminally insane men. Later on, it became a home, if you like, for people who were dangerous to themselves and people who would have been dangerous to the public. Now you've got two tours that run here, one during the day and one during the night. Tell us a bit about the difference between the two. Well the day tours up here are focused more on uh, storytelling about uh, prisoners in here and then patients later on when it became Joe Ward. Now if you've heard of Chopper Reed, Chopper Reed's been two weeks in here. He just kept bits of his ears off. Gary Wibber over the time he was incarcerated has cut off over 70 pieces of his body. At night, you'll be focusing more on paranormal things. We turn off all the lights and we walk around uh, with all the paranormal devices and we pick up all sorts of things in here. Chayward, originally the Ararat County Jail, was an Australian prison of the latter a psychiatric facility to house the criminally insane located in Ararat, Victoria, Australia. The facility was opened in October 1861. In 1887, it was converted for use as a maximum security psychiatric ward for the criminally insane. J Ward officially closed in January 1991. One of the notable patients was Mark Chopper Reed. He was transferred from Prentish Prison in late 1978 after arranging for a fellow inmate to cut off both his ears. Reed only remained in J Ward for a few months before being transferred back to Pentridge. Glad the sun is back again because it's raining so hard on our way to Ararat. So we're now here at Ararat. It's a four hour drive from Echuca, Victoria. So we're going to take a rest for a while. By 9 p.m. we're going to the J Ward Asylum to have the ghoster. I'm not expecting a lot from the ghoster, but I am hoping that I'm going to learn a lot of things about the history and the reasons why it became haunted. This is another episode of the Paranormal Tour. Ararat is a city in southwest Victoria, Australia, about 198 kilometers west of Melbourne. The discovery of gold in 1857 during the Victorian Gold Rush transformed it into a boomtown which continued to prosper until the turn of the 20th century, after which it has steadily declined in population. We're going now to um, J. Ward Asylum for our ghost tour. of Shea Ward Asylum is known to be haunted by the ghost of a matron. It is said that the matron still haunts the dark hallways of the hospital. 
So right after watching the documentary about the Jay Waters album, we were given some instruments that could determine a spiritual activity. We were given the dangling rods, EMF or the electromagnetic field sensor, and also we were given um, some lights just to provide illumination. And we actually went to the hospital wing where the alleged ghost of the matron was spotted by a lot of people. We went inside and the, uh, and the tour guide tried to call the ghost of the matron. We actually didn't see something, but it was really, really creepy because it was really dark inside. We didn't see anything, but I definitely felt that there was something inside that hallway. But every time I turn around to that direction, there's nothing. But, you know, um, there's this um, uncomfortable feeling that someone's watching us from behind. Too much cooking? Jay Ward is now a museum, open to the public, but there are others who are still attached to the four corners of this prison up to this date. Why isn't everyone going to the left? I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather not go to the left, but... The kitchen is known to be the most haunted place in Jayward. Paranormal experts believe that there is a malevolent spirit roaming around this area. The scariest part of the tour was when we went underground. It used to be a kitchen. The tour guide told us that there are four souls inside the, uh, the kitchen and the underground level of it. Um, the first two are the children who died there. The third ghost is the German cook, kind of strict when it comes to touching some of her personal things like the utensils, the, the, the big pot under the fire. The fourth one is actually, um, I don't know, um, evil is, is an understatement to, dis to describe the spirit. When we got inside, um, it was pitch black. And so one of the tour guides asked me to volunteer. One of the participants of the tour actually checked her EMF, it went crazy, like super crazy. So the tour guide gave me a candy. I extended my both of my arms 
and I tried to call the spirit of Stuart. Immediately after I called Stuart, it felt like someone was holding both of my hands. It felt like electricity flowing inside my body and I immediately felt sad. I don't know, but my heart started to, you know, to, to beat faster. It was really intense. We went down at the, um, at the exclusive bathroom of the governor during that time as the tour guide started to talk about the, um, the, the crime inside that, uh, that room. I really can't explain it, but it felt really terrifying. Most especially after we learned that someone got killed inside that room. One thing that I learned about this coaster is that Australia has a lot of dark history. It's not that I'm a fan of dark history or I'm pretty much interested with it, but yeah, it's really great to learn more about the history of the country that you're visiting or you're traveling at. There are no jump scares. I guarantee you that there are no jump scares, but the, the, the experiences are really different from one person to another. It varies from one person to another. When you go to a ghost room, you need to have an open mind and you need to stop rationalizing everything. Whether you like it or not, there are things that you can't explain or understand. 